Hey guys, it's Hexicle here, and today we're going to be talking about KTT King Whites, a linear switch that I saw on Dan Keeves and I wanted to do a nice little review on. A lot of people have been asking about it, and on top of that, I don't see many YouTube reviews, so I thought it'd be a good idea. If you like this type of content, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button, and also like this video because it helps me out a lot. So let's get started on the review. First, let's talk about the keyboard we're going to be testing these in. This is the KVD67 Lite. It features an ABS plastic case, a polycarbonate plate, silicon dampener in between the plate and the PCB, some foam in between the PCB and the case, and it's also got lubed Duroc stabilizers. Now let's talk about the switch. This is a three pin linear switch and it's got a kale housing. Bottom housing has a milky appearance and consists of nylon. Progressive spring with 60 grams of actuation force and four millimeters of travel. A white stem made of palm. And finally, a top housing that's clear and made out of polycarbonate. And this builds your final linear budget switch that only runs at 27 cents per switch. Let's go ahead and do a stem wobble comparison to the other linears that I have currently. The first switch we have are the KTT King Whites, and the second one we have are Duroc Teal Linears without any film. The third one is the Aqua Rose Reds, and the fourth one are the Silk Milkshake Switches. Then the fifth one is another Duroc Teal Linear, but this one has film on it. The KTT King White stem is honestly really sturdy, and that's to be expected with kale housings, but compared to my other budget kale housing switch, I have to say this one is a lot sturdier. The Duroc Linear is also a pretty sturdy one, but it is a little loose and it does require filming if you don't want it to be too loose. Next up we have our other budget kale switch, the Aqua Rose Res, and these are honestly really tight, but they are a bit looser than the KTT Whites. Then we have our Silk Milkshake switches. These are really tight cherry housings and typically they aren't regarded as something that needs to be filmed. And then we have a film Duroc Teal, and as you can see here, it is a lot tighter. I only really added this because I don't have many linear switches to test this out on right now, and I wanted an extra one. Now that we've gone through a little stem wobble test, let's go ahead and do a quick sound comparison of the switches that I have. Now that we've done a comparison between the linear switches that I have, let's do a full sound test of unlubed and lubed KTT King Whites.
Now that we've heard the Switch and talked about it a little bit, it's time to give my final thoughts and review on this Switch. The KTT King White is honestly a really nice option for a budget linear Switch. Comparing to the, something like the Aqua Rose Red, I think the stock and lube smoothness is really, really nice. The stem and housing are really nice and tight, as expected from any KTT Switch, and if you like RGB, they have really nice shine through too. The stock experience of the Switch is honestly not really that bad. Besides being a little bit scratchy, the thockiness of the Switch is there, and on top of that, it feels really smooth. Comparing them to something like Aqua Rose Reds, the spring ping on them stock was honestly not really that bad. There is only a really light, noticeable ping in the springs when pushing down on the keys, and honestly, it didn't bother me too much, but I went ahead and lubed them anyway. Honestly, overall, for being at its price point and how good it sounds stock, I could see this being a really good beginner switch, especially for people who don't want to lube right away, because these switches sound just fine. If you do decide to lube these switches, that experience is also amazing too. They're a lot more smoother, and they have a really nice deep thought to them. Now that we've gone over my experience with the stock and lube switches, and a few other things, I think it's time to talk about my final overview of the Switch and if I think it's worth it for you buying. The KTT King Whites, in my opinion, are going to be a really big contender in the budget linear group. These Switches only come in at $0.27 cents per Switch, or $2.70 for a 10-pack, and honestly for that price it's something that you just can't beat. Even stock, these things have some serious nice smooth travel, and on top of that they just sound amazing. Honestly, I would highly recommend these switches to anybody, but especially for beginners because the stock experience with these switches is downright amazing. They definitely may not be perfect stock, but for somebody who's just beginning, I could find somebody who would definitely be happy with these and they could probably even be passed off as lube switches. And if you're looking for a nice budget option for a mechanical keyboard like my RK61, which I have a video about right up here, then these switches would be a really good option for that. KTT knocked it out of the park with this switch, and I totally expect to be seeing more of it in future keyboard builds, so I would highly recommend grabbing this switch if you're looking for a budget linear. That'll be about it today for my review of the KTT King Whites. If you like this type of content, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell, and also leave a like on this video. It helps me out a lot. I'd also like to mention that I do have a new Discord server open where I can give keyboard help, tech talk, and a ton of other things. If you're interested in something like that, make sure to check that out. That's going to be in the description. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you all. See ya and have a good rest of your day.